Have you ever tried to save a custom data type in your database only to be met with the dreaded error message from the room compiler? I cannot figure out how to save this type. If you have, you're not alone, but don't worry, we have the solution for you. Introducing the type converters in room database, the game changer for custom data type storage in your SQLite database. So in this coding tutorial, we'll show you how to use type converter to seamlessly store custom data type like dates. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, so now let's navigate here to our room package and create a new package. So we can just easily navigate here and create this package and call this, for example, converters. And inside here now we can just insert all of the converters which we want. So for our case, let's create here a new Kotlin class or file. And we want to create here a file and we are going to call it this, for example, date converter. Now let's create here an open class and we can just call this dead converter and inside here we are going to have two methods. So the first case here let's create a function and we want to call this for example to dead. And right now here we are going to receive, we can just import this first and we want to use this java.util. And we have to write here a return function. And for example, here we have to receive a long because we're going to be converting this. And for this case here, now we can just use here. So for example, let's just call this debt. Okay, now we want to transform this to a debt. And basically here what we are doing just we are going to transform this because this is going to be in a form of long. So we want to transform this back to a debt. That's why we are just using here a debt class and then we are just converting it. And basically here we have to assign this with a type converter. And basically we are going to tell room hey this method is going to be used to convert a debt from long to a debt format which can be easily understand by and by by Android OS. And we can easily create another type converter and just call this type converter and create a function and call this for example from debt so that we can easily uh, differentiate this method and basically here now we are going to re we have a debt and basically we want to return here along so we can make this to be for example uh, nullable so that we can easily deal with this. And basically here we want to return now a debt that is going to be converted to a long. So we can just call this debt dot time. And this basically is going to return us a time. Okay, so now let's try to run here our application and see the output. Okay, so when you run your application, you can see we are going to get this error again. I cannot figure out how to save this field into database. So for this case, we have already created here our date converter. And this is going to tell the room to create a method that is going to help us to convert between this when we are saving it to SQLite. But right now here, room does not know for this class. So what we have to do, we have to navigate here inside our shopping list. So we can just come here inside our shopping list database. And above here, our database, we can create another annotation. So we can annotate this with our type converters. So we have to use now type converters because we're going to pass in here several converters if you have. And then basically here we can just create the values. And this is just an array. So for this case, we can easily create here our arrays which we have. So if you have several classes for converters, so for our case here we have created just that converter and we can pass in this to be a class. And basically right now here room understand that we have a dead converter. So right now when we try to build our application it's going to successfully run. Now let's try again. Okay, so now you can see our app has successfully launched. And for this case we have not got those er dreadful errors that we cannot figure out how to save custom data type. So guys, this is how you can easily save custom data types to a SQLite database. So for this case, let's leave it here in this video. So in the next video, we're going to finish up to connect our database together with the repository and hook up everything so that we have a functional application. So if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to provide a like and subscribe for more videos. So bye bye for now. See you in the next video.